We have breaking news for you out of Washington. In a new court filing, the Department of Justice says that former President Trump can be sued by U.S. Capitol Police over the January 6th insurrection. I want to bring in NBC's Ken Delaney and back with us, Tally Farhadi and Weinstein. Ken, what more can you tell us about this ruling? Chris, this DOJ opinion holds that President Trump does not have absolute immunity from multiple civil lawsuits filed by police officers and member of, members of Congress, which seek to hold him liable from damages, for damages stemming from the January 6th riot. The point the Justice Department is making here is that it, speaking on public matters of public concern is a traditional function of the presidency, and he would be immune from lawsuits regarding that kind of speech. But uh, a speech uh, far outside the president's office um, w that allegedly incited a riot is not covered by that immunity, according to the Justice Department. And a federal judge in, in one of these cases has also held that um, position, that Trump can be sued, that, that, that his speech um, exhorting people to go to the Capitol on January 6th was not covered by presidential immunity. Now it's in the appeals court, and the Justice Department has weighed in in favor of allowing Trump to be sued. Now, the Justice Department is not taking the position that Trump's speech was incitement. That's what's a subject of this litigation. But what they are saying is that he shouldn't be able to claim immunity from these lawsuits, Chris. Well,